What's the location? Russia. We found a mall with some nasty Hume signatures. Overseers say I have to go solo. Well, that's dangerous. I question the Overseer's decision on this. It was a unanimous decision, though, so you can't really question it. Do you at least know what you'll be up against? No, but I can handle myself. Alright then, Ozzy. I trust you, mate. Good, because I trust you to keep my projects safe. Right, those video reviews about the next bot games. I'll upload them when I can. Alright, now I wait for that phone to ring. Somehow, you're not worried about a potential security breach of this project. Not at all. Once you get the hang of it, it's easy to stay hidden behind two layers of fiction. Fuck you. Fuck your mall. Fuck your Russia. I'm getting the hell out of here. I don't want to see that shit ever again. You walked into your own fate from your welcome home. You will join the other shortly. They all do. You cannot escape. You must not escape. You will. The first thing you see in the game is obviously the main menu. The music is really jazzy though. Reminds me of elevator music. It's almost as good as Doors' elevator music. Almost. Anyways, once you actually get into the game, you are greeted by... Wait a second. Those textures. I recognize them. Hmm. Aha. They're the default Half-Life 2 textures. And right, you are in-game me, those are the default Half-Life 2 textures. Your prize is 10 grams of essence of will to live! Oh, do I have to drink this? No, you can go kill yourself right now if you feel like it. Uniformity is survival. Separation is death. Stray too far from the crowd, and you will be picked off easily. So strengthen numbers. We help the crowd grow. So you... You remember how I said that Nextbots originated from Gary's mod, or more specifically the Source engine? The devs of Nico's Nextbots wanted to try and replicate that game, so they basically made basically rip off Gary's mod that's not Sandbox, which is weird. The naming convention of maps is similar to Gary's mod, the textures are ripped from Gary's mod, the logo is similar, that lonely feeling of isolation is similar. Actually, yeah, I should probably talk about that. Nico's Nextbots has an off-putting sense of isolation. This is basically a quirk of all Source Engine games, the genre Nico's Nextbots is trying to replicate. For whatever fucking reason, Source Engine games make you feel as if you're alone, but you can't shake the feeling that somebody's watching you. I suggest you research this, as this topic is really interesting. This feeling of aloneness improves the horror atmosphere Nico's Nextbots is going for. What's that? Horror, you say? Yes, you heard that right, Nico's Next Spots is a horror game. Sure, it is a Roblox game, horror is hard to pull off in this engine, especially in Atmosphere, but where the horror truly shines, where the anxiety and dread reside. <laughs> is... them. That right there is going to be your enemy in this game. That thing is the main selling point of Nico's next bot. What makes the game scary? Next bot will stop at nothing to get you. Your only option is to run, think, shit, and live. You always have to keep moving. There's no staying still. No fight, just flight. If you're prone to freezing in place, like most horror protagonists, then let's just say you're going to have a bad time. Ah shit, I made an Undertale rep! You 
see that right there, how it just ragdolled? That's probably the best feature of this entire game. Because at the click of a button, which is the R button, you just broke your sternum, femur, temporal bone, and your cock. I'm not sure how you would break your pussy if you're a girl, like what? It just opens like a door. <laughs> My life is misery. Please someone put me out of this pain. My screams are melodies. On this broken boulevard a dream. If you don't have dementia or Alzheimer's, you might remember this line that I said earlier. Fuck you. Fuck your mall. Fuck your Russia. That was an attempt at offending modern consumerism practices and the state that the country of Russia is in now. That was also a way of nodding to the maps Nico's next spots has. NN Mall and NN Russia. NN Mall is a decrepit old mall that was abandoned before it even gained any traction. Abandoned by those looking to turn a fortune, only to return with three digits in their bank accounts. It's just a mall, not much to say here. If you haven't been to a mall, don't. Save your money for more important things. If I had to describe NN Russia, it would probably be, uh... Welcome to Russia, Suka! Sit down, grab a vodka, and enjoy our scenery, yeah. We have dilapidated building from Cold War. We have vodka. We have exposed soda pipes. Fuck. We have exposed sewer pipes. We have vodka. And we have the only thing scarier than vodka. That's right. Vodka. I've seen them at their lowest, on their knees, desperately reaching out for help. And I took their hand. I helped them grow. Now, they're just like the others. Happy. Satisfied. When you decided to take this job, Lamio, you wished for the same. You took the responsibility of satiating the people's hunger to satiate your own. We can help you grow, Lamio. I am not going to become another cog in the machine. Now, there is actually a third map that I haven't mentioned in the intro because this section of the script was written after the arcade update. Oh boy. The update introduced a new game mode and moved the old style of running around aimlessly, avoiding the oh-so-scary flat two-dimensional poorly rigged images into the free roam game mode. The main game mode that the game will default to when you join is arcade mode. I really hope you can tell how pissed I am. Alright, time to get into the actual recording voice. Now there is an actual goal you have to accomplish, that is to get the most points out of the entire server. Now to get these points you could just, you know, keep running and stay alive for as long as you can, but but, if you're skilled enough, you can gain extra points by bunny hopping and trimping. If you manage to get to the podium by having the most points, you will get more Nico bucks, uh, the main currency of the game, than you would just by surviving. Oh right, the third map is just Crossroads with 4K HD Dolby Vision Enhanced Ray Trace Graphics. I don't need to explain more. Well, it seems I didn't win this round. And with that disappointment, let's head on over to the shop. This is the shop, where you can spend your hard-earned Nico Bucks for things that will get you more Nico Bucks to spend more in the shop. Where you can spend your hard-earned Nico Bucks for things that will get you more Nico Bucks to spend more in the shop. Where you can spend your hard-earned Nico Bucks. Uh, damn you, capitalism! Uh, sorry for that. Anyways, the things you can get in the shop are... Number one, sodas. As if ADHD wasn't enough. Number two, fireworks. Oh, say can you see by the bright light up your ass? Number three, snowballs. Why are you selling this? Haven't you read that Diary of a Wimpy Kid book? Which one? The purple one? Uh, there's two. I don't know, beats me. Number four, the possessor. A literal Deus Ex Machina that allows you to possess a next bot and kill other players. Now, 
one gripe that I have with this game is uh, the movements. It's gonna be hard to show, but basically strafing is non-existent. When you're on the move and want to dodge out of the way of the next ball, you have to turn your mouse around. You can't move left or right in the direction you want to go because you'll just lose all your speed. This may not seem big, but I keep instinctively trying to do this, and when making quick reaction, it feels off not being able to strafe. Also, the walls really want to touch you. Like, I barely grazed this wall and now I lost all my speed. Why the fuck did the devs program fucking pervert walls? Anyway, so all in all, Nico's Next Watch is a great survival horror game. It is very polished and has plenty of content, it replicates that being watched source feeling, and, well, next bots are terrifying. Wait, what the? What makes you think I'll just turn like that? I know what you're trying to do, Munchie. But you came to the wrong house, and I'm not continuing the cycle for you. Go find someone else to fuck around with. You disappoint me, Thawmiel. A rising star like you had so much potential, but yet go and put it in the bin. But we will break you. So start running, Thawmiel. For every step you take, we take two.
how longer I can keep going. Everything I do seems futile. Have I finally reached insanity? Have I reached my breaking point? What? No. Now why the hell am I saying this? This is my channel. This is my creation. Given up yet, Samuel? Are you ready to embrace us? You. You decide to come in riding on that retarded high horse into my channel and you force me to play by your rules? This is my fucking channel! I made this! There's no need to be so rebellious, Samuel. Fuck you. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do. And you're not going to do shit about it. Say, love you. Imagine how much more of them will love you if you just accept us. I'd rather be my own machine, Munchie, instead of being another cog in yours. Then your downfall, Samuel. I don't care. I am not going to become another cog in the machine.